The Semiotician is a strand rocket launcher added to Destiny 2 in Season of the Witch. This one is part of the Hive set of weapons and given rockets are very strong in the sandbox right now, this one is a great weapon to add to your arsenal. Well today I'm going to check out the stats, the perks, the goals to chase for PvP and PvE, plus also how to get the Semiotician in Destiny 2. Okay, first of all, let's have a look at how to get this strand rocket launcher. So to get the Semiostition, you want to take part in the new seasonal activities in Season of the Witch called Savathun Spire or Altars of Summoning. This one is a random drop from the rewards at the end of those activities and you can also get it from the ritual table found in the helm. This is also a craftable weapon, meaning if you collect five red borders of the weapon and level them up, you can obtain the pattern and craft your very own Semiostition at the Enclave on Savathun's Throne World. Okay, next up, let's have a close look at the Semiostition. So this one is a legendary power rocket launcher with a high impact frame, meaning it's slow firing and has high damage. And the weapon is more accurate when stationary, you're moving slowly and you aim down the sights. Looking at the stats, we've got a blast radius of 90, 44 for velocity, 56 for stability, 69 for handling, nice, 38 for reload speed, 6 for airborne effectiveness. It's a 15 rounds per minute rocket launcher with one in the magazine. The origin trait here is Head Rush, and this is where standing up after crouching for a short time grants the weapon a brief period of improved handling and also reload speed too. Okay, next up, let's have a look at the Semiostition God Roll Guide. So for PvE, first of all, Quick launch, impact casing, field prep, and explosive light would be good. So quick launch greatly increases the handling speed and increases the projectile speed too. Impact casing increases stability. Field prep increases ammo reserves. You've got faster reload, stow, and ready when you're crouching. And then you've got explosive light. So picking up an orb of power increases the next projectile's blast radius and also the damage too. The field prep and explosive light is a tried and tested combination for boss DPS with rocket launchers. Now, this is nothing new in PvE, but it's good to have a strand option out there for those strand builds. Field prep is good for increasing reserves and reload speed, and then you've got that massive damage boost with explosive light. It's up there with bait and switches, the best rocket perk in the game. Well, next up for PvP, quick launch, high velocity rounds, impulse amplifier, and Danger Zone would be very, very good. So a quick launch, greatly increase the handling speed and increase the projectile speed too. High velocity rounds increase the projectile speed, always good in PvP, and increases the reload speed. Then you've got Impulse Amplifier, so massively increases the projectile velocity and also increases the reload speed too. Finally, you've got Danger Zones. So the blast radius of the weapon increases when surrounded by combatants and while active, the weapon deals significantly less damage to the wielder. Well, Impulse Amplifier is great in PvP, and Danger Zone gives you that larger blast radius, which can catch out teams if they bunch together in PvP. So with rockets in PvP, you want to up the velocity as much as possible, and that is going to get your rocket onto your enemies as fast as you possibly can. Well, let me know in the comments what you think about the Semiostition rocket launcher, and that is it for this guide for how to get this new strand rocket launcher in Destiny 2. As always, thank you so much for watching or for listening. Well, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you real soon.